Hi everybody, Lynn Forsyth here. Um, we as the Social Brand Wagon team were challenged to watch Shannon Green's video on making file folders and to all watch that and have the same place to start off of and see where we ended up. Well, I love the file folder idea, but I have tons of file folders. So I said, hey, this would make a really cool mini album. So I took the um, buttons paper from the Gypsy Seamstress collection and I folded it in half, cut the, the top off, um, and then I did a random fold at four inches because I didn't need my um, mini album to be big like it would be if it was done the way that Shannon did it on the video. And then I cut some paper from um, the Gypsy Seamstress Collection tape measure, um, which I'm going to put in here. Now before I glue this all down, um, I need to distress the edges because I can't do this without doing that. So I have my Zutter Distress It All. I'll show you just one piece and then I'll come back with them all done. So I just love what this does to the edges of the paper. So I will save you from having to listen to that sound and I'll be back when I have all my edges distressed. I have distressed all the edges um, and I'm gonna adhere these together. So I think I actually want that one sticking out that way. But over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it so that they're not exactly the same because you have amazing double-sided paper. So that that way when I put these together, the pages will look a bit different as you go through it. So now I am going to adhere this all together and figure out what my next step is. I think what my next plan of attack is, is I am going to make a 50-50 combo of gesso and glaze medium. And I made quite a wad of it because I'm going to paint all my pages. And I love this because what it does is it gives you the texture of gesso with the transparency of a glaze. don't want brush strokes, so I've just got a piece of burlap that I'm dabbing on it.
All right, set that aside to dry. And then I gotta clean up this mess. 